There is a lot of information available for the Zinc Ultrascale Plus RFSOC ZCU111 Evaluation Kit, so it can be a little daunting. I find it helpful to look at the Xilinx Design Hub to get a categorized overview of what documents are available. The way I got here is starting from xilinx.com, Support, Design Hubs, and then under Zinc Ultrascale Plus Kits, there's the ZCU111. I'm not going to click on any of these links to download the documents though, because as you can see, they refer to 2018.2, which is from last year and a couple tool versions ago. But I like this page because it gives me a big picture of what information is available in an organized way. I'm interested in the ZCU111 RF Data Converter Evaluation Tool, so I'm going to look up the user guide for it. I'm going to go to xilinx.com slash ZCU111, which is a handy shortcut to get to the product page for the board. You can do that for most of the Xilinx boards, um, just putting the board name after the xilinx.com to get you to the product page. So I'm going to go to the documentation tab and most importantly, sort by date so that I get the latest one at the top. That took me two clicks. So now we see that there is a 2019.1 version of UG1287 for the RFSOC data converter evaluation tool and also some design files. So I downloaded both of those. Looking at UG1287 next, I go to the Appendix B to the References section, and number four um, points us to a wiki page with the Getting Started Guide for the ZCU111 RFSOC Data Converter Evaluation Tool. So the user guide is useful for telling me all the details about the evaluation tool, but to get things up and running, I'm going to go to the Getting Started Guide, which has some how-to steps. If we go to the Getting Started Guide wiki page, we can see that there are links here to information about each of the three different designs. Personally, I would have listed these in the reverse order with non-MCS first um, and SSR IP last uh, because non-MTS is the design that demonstrates most of the features of the IP except for multi-tile sync. And then there's multi-tile sync. And then there's the SSR IP, which is uh, new starting from 2018.3, and it's to show you how you can add a PL component in the RF data path of the evaluation design. Thanks for watching. In upcoming videos, I'm going to go through different parts of getting the ZCU111 RF SOC RF Data Converter Evaluation Tool up and running.